This video demonstrates the protocol for lateral approach sinus lift augmentation using bond appetite. Start with a mid-crestal incision and a remote vertical incision to expose the lateral aspect of the maxilla as can be seen here. Elevate a full thickness flap to expose the site. Once flap elevation is complete, grasp the mesial corner of the flap and stretch. Then the middle part of the flap and stretch, followed by the distal portion of the flap and stretch. Create an access window on the lateral wall of the maxilla to expose the sinus cavity and gently elevate the Schneiderian membrane to create space for grafting with bond appetite. The syringe contains a saline chamber, the graft powder, shaft, two pistons, an indicator line, and a cap. Place the shaft in the palm of the hand with the other finger at the top of the cap and advance the shaft slowly forward until the first piston reaches the blue line. It is important to set the syringe aside and wait one minute before application. Next, with a twisting and pulling motion, remove the cap and place the shaft between the pointer and middle fingers, holding the syringe as can be seen here. Approach the site and start ejecting the cement. Deploy the cement into the site until the shaft of the syringe cannot be advanced any further. Then the holding position of the syringe shaft is changed. Use the thumb to expel the remainder of the cement into the site. Immediately after, take a sterile, unfolded dry gauze and place over the cement. Gently push the cement into the sinus lift with a finger. After pushing with the finger, Use a periosteal elevator and continue with the dispersion of the graft from the buccal aspect through crestal. Continue to introduce more bond appetite as needed until two-thirds of the sinus lift chamber is filled up. Add as many syringes as needed to fill the first two-thirds of the sinus lift chamber. Remember to set aside each syringe for at least one minute before ejecting the cement into the sinus lift chamber. During cement dispersion in the sinus lift chamber, from time to time, if needed, press gently above the material with a sterile dry gauze to absorb excess fluid and blood. For filling the remaining one-third of the sinus lift and sealing the access window, deploy the last syringe immediately upon activation. Eject immediately into the site, place a dry sterile gauze, press firmly for three seconds, Continue to flap closure by stretching and suture. Try to achieve primary closure. Do not perform any soft tissue manipulations to gain tension free. Do not perform periosteal releasing incisions and do not brush. The flap must be positioned under tension. No membranes or PRF between the flap and bond appetite cement. And no provisional removable appliances are to contact the graft site.